Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, may I rise and add to pay my respects and sympathies for Orla and the wider Mallon family? And may I then add my own words and those of the Ulster Unionist Party to commemorate the life of a great Irishman, Seamus Mallon. Seamus and our then Deputy Leader, our, our, our then Leader David Trimble, did much to see Northern Ireland emerge from the destructive and evil days of the Troubles. And while David did, did see the recognition of the Nobel Prize, Seamus, who probably deserved it as much as his leader John Hume, has only latterly been recognised. And for what an inspirational leader and politician that he was. Indeed, as one of my predecessors, Lord Empley, said today, there was no doubt that if John Hume was the SDLP's ideas man, Seamus was the person to turn these ideas into practice and workable solutions. I first came to know Seamus long before I got into politics, through my involvement in a whole range of north, south and east, west bodies. He was always courteous but forthright in his views, and had a fierce determination to get his point across. Although, when I became involved in politics, and he was always supportive, although a bit bemused while I would wish to get involved, as he said himself, it was catch-22. He had to be mad to want to be a politician, but if nobody did it, where would we be? But what always struck me about Seamus was his integrity, his courage, and his abhorrence of all forms of violence. As he himself wrote, I have mentioned my neighbour, Jack Adams, a good man who couldn't do enough for you, but he was shot dead by the IRA because he felt he was doing his duty by joining the RUC Reserve. That dehumanisation of individuals, of a community, so they could be killed just for wearing a police or UDR uniform, that is what I will not support. That man and his family had their home here for 400 years, but he had to be killed because the IRA's little green boot said so. The awfulness and nihilism of that is what I am fundamentally opposed to. I believe that 30 years of violence has meant that the Republican movement has shot and bombed itself out of the vital process of persuading people for Irish unity. While Seamus had a very different view of how he saw the future of Northern Ireland to that of the Ulster Unionist Party, we are the first to recognise that he was a statesman of the first order, a politician with that very rare quality of steadfast integrity, and someone who, along with David Trimble, believed that only by truly working together in a spirit of partnership could we make this place truly be a shared home place. Maybe, Mr Speaker, it could be his lasting legacy that we current political leaders draw inspiration from his words and decide once and for all that power sharing rather than power division should be the model we seek to achieve and make this truly a place to cherish. Mr Speaker, thank you.